guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Kim is just playing in the background. So, okay, um, I just wanted to like talk to you guys first off, tell you guys what's been going on. Cause yeah, I kind of stopped vlogging for a while. And okay, when I got back to Sydney, which was in the last video, a lot of things happened. Um, so that kind of pushed back all of my videos. So I basically have not been uploading for like almost a month on my main channel. And then on this channel, all my videos I've been uploading happened like over a month ago. So whenever that happens, I'm always like, what do I do? Because I could still edit these videos, but then when I upload them, I just feel like I'm not connected to you guys because all those events happened so long ago. So I thought that we would scrap all those videos and we're gonna start fresh today. Where do I even start? Um, okay, let's go back about a month ago. So what happened was we took a flight to Sydney and we took Hina with us. And you guys may have seen that in the last vlog. So what happened when Hina arrived in Sydney? She was okay. Um, of course, this was a new environment, so she was a bit anxious and uh, she was peeing everywhere in the apartment. Oh gosh, you're going crazy. I guess it's because she didn't really see this apartment as her home. And I could tell she was looking for Yuki as well, which is really sad. But um, yeah, she got a lot better over the next couple of days then she had to have her second vaccination. So she had her first vaccination when she was six weeks old, then she had her second one when she was 10 weeks old. Now we went to the vet and she had two vaccinations. Um, there was one that went behind her neck and one that went up her nose. So the vet told us it would be normal for her to feel really sleepy for the next 24 to 48 hours. So we took her home and then she was actually quite normal. She had her dinner. She didn't eat all of her dinner, but that's kind of normal for her. She's not a big eater. Then the next day um, in the morning, usually when she sees us in the morning, she gets very excited. She goes out of her cray and then she just wants to jump on us and play. The next morning she didn't do that. Um, but then we were told that she was going to be tired for the next 24 to 48 hours So we thought that was normal for the rest of the day She ate just a little bit of her food like we tried to get her to eat and convince her to but she just didn't want to And I think that's just her personality like you give her dinner and she's excited So she'll eat but she'll only eat like maybe a third of a dinner if we're lucky um, Otherwise she takes a very long time to finish her food So because she was so tired, she just didn't want to eat the next day the same thing happened she didn't want to greet us when we woke up and she just didn't want to eat now prior to the vaccination she was completely fine she would eat her food most of the time she wouldn't really finish but she would eat the majority of it which was okay but after the vaccination she would barely even touch it so eric and i were like look if she is not back to normal in the next 48 hours we're gonna take her back to the vet and ask what's going on so the next day, this is day number three, this is past 48 hours. We woke up, same thing happened. She was even worse, she was just so tired. She had no energy because she hasn't been eating. So we made her breakfast and we tried to get her to eat, but she just didn't want to. So I called the vet and I was like, hey, she just had her second vaccination and after the vaccination, she just hasn't been eating, is that normal? They're like, no, that's not normal. So we took her in to the vet. Um, they took a temperature and she had a fever and she also lost 400 grams, which was a lot. So the vet suggested that we take her to a animal hospital and leave her there for the night on fluids. So we did, we drove to the animal hospital and yeah, we decided to run tests on her as well to see if there's anything wrong with her. And the doctor told us that it was going to cost us like $2,000 if she stays overnight at the vet. And if she wants to stay another night, it's $3,000. So at the time we were like, what can we do? Um, we actually do have pet insurance, but unfortunately it hasn't kicked in yet. Um, usually it takes like one or two months to kick in. And because we only just got her, she wasn't yet covered, but it's all good. Um, Eric and I just paid it anyway. Like we didn't want to get a dog until we knew we were like, you know, financially stable to be able to afford that with no worries. Um, we were wanting to wait until we had like a place that's big enough for a dog. We wanted to wait till we get a car so we can take it to vet appointments and go to the park later on. So we were well prepared um, before we got Hina. So anyway, um, we left her there overnight and we actually visited her that night we left her there and it was really sad. Okay, I'll tell you a little croissant. The next morning we got a call from the animal hospital and they told us that Hina was doing a lot better. So that night 
when they were putting fluids into her, she had no energy. She just didn't bark at all. She just let them do whatever they wanted to, which made things easier. But it wasn't Hina. Like, we know Hina, she complains when you do something she doesn't like and she just wasn't being herself. So the next morning, um, when the vet called us, they told us that she was barking at the nurses and she had a lot more energy, so that was so relieving. And they said that we were able to pick her up that afternoon. So we went to the hospital in the afternoon and picked her up. She was doing a lot better. She actually gained back 300 grams, so she looked a lot more healthier than when we left at the vet. <laughs> So it almost doesn't get very, very, very well. <laughs> She's back to normal, yep. That's her. It's, it's... Then over the next few days, Eric and I had to monitor her very closely. So this is why I haven't been vlogging. I was keeping a very close eye on her, making sure she was actually eating. We tried to mix up her food a little bit so she wouldn't get bored. We had to add some bored chicken in there because she loves chicken. So at least that would maybe encourage her to eat a little bit more. It's just that Hina is not motivated by food she's motivated by play which is fine but like she needs to eat she's a growing puppy so yeah for the next couple of weeks actually i was at home keeping a very close eye on her and yeah that just took up a lot of my time which is okay um i mean i'm glad that i was able to work from home and take care of her then um after taking care of her over the next few weeks she got a lot better she's improved so much she's gained a lot of weight she actually had her third vaccination maybe a week ago two weeks ago i think two weeks ago now okay can you not stop biting my head not gonna lie eric and i were very nervous when she had her third vaccination because we did not want the same thing to happen again but luckily she was okay um she was very sleepy after the vaccination and then the next day she was back to normal so i don't know what happened with her second vaccination but i think what happened was that she was never a big eater and she was so tired from the vaccination that she just decided oh i'm just not gonna eat but at least she's doing very well now um she also started puppy school she only started about two weeks ago and yeah i filmed some of it but i feel like i'm gonna upload most of the content on hina's channel so if you guys want to watch her growing up then please subscribe to that channel which will be linked down below then after taking care of her i also got no, eric and i got sick so we were sick for like a week which put us out of everything so yeah eric was actually worse off than me i think he caught something from work and then um, i caught it from him i just remember i was trying to film a yes style video for my main channel and my body was starting to feel really tired and sore in the middle of filming so i was like what is going on and then the next day i was kind of sick just things are piling on top of each other and i think eric and i just like crashed towards the end because we were just both so tired but things are really good now Hina has so much energy right now i'm going to take it out for a walk in a second and yeah um eric and i have recovered so we're all good hopefully now vlogs will go back to real time and I mentioned this before and I'm just, uh, I'm so annoyed at myself for doing this but I keep saying that I wanted to connect more with you guys and then I screwed things up by <laughs> not uploading consistently so yeah I know it's all my fault um, so yeah I just really want to connect more with you guys again so I'm gonna do the segments again uh, where you know I pick a couple comments from the previous video and I'm gonna mention them in the next video so you guys can just ask me anything you want like it doesn't even have to be about Hina or I don't know Japan or Australia just anything even life stuff like life advice anything you want guys um, oh my gosh you are insane <laughs> Why do you have the zoomies now? I don't even understand. Anything at all guys and I will pick out three comments per video and I will answer them at the end of the vlog. So anyway, I'm gonna take out Hina for a walk now because as you can see, she's insane and she needs to go out.
is back home. She had a good play and now she's going to eat her dinner. She actually finished all of her lunch today as well, so I'm very proud of her. Actually eating. This is amazing. I never see her eat so fast before. Hi Hina! I'm just gonna go to my friend's house upstairs to borrow an outfit for tonight's event. See you soon! Be good! back home and my friend let me borrow one of her dresses and she also did my hair as well which is amazing because I don't know how to do my hair I only know how to curl it and that's it um, I'm just gonna fix up my makeup quickly before we go Hina is right here she was sleeping on the couch she had a very good play today so I'm expecting her to be very tired why are you crying what's wrong you want attention Yeah, you like that switch, don't you? I'm just gonna put on some highlighter because I forgot to do so before. But the event today is um, for charity for children's hospitals. I'm just gonna take an Uber there and then I'm gonna get Eric to pick me up later. Yeah, it's just so nice being in the same apartment building as your friend. Cause um, yeah, I was trying to find a dress to wear for tonight and I went shopping yesterday and I just couldn't find anything. So I told my friend today and then she's like, oh, just take one of my dresses. I was like, oh, just so amazing. I'm just going to wear these earrings from Yester. These are like one of my favorite earrings. Back from my event, I just got out of the dress and into my PJs. It's really cold in Australia recently, well, more so because in this apartment it's colder than our previous apartment, but we also have to keep the balcony door open so Hina can go out and do her business. So all the cold air comes in here. We're hoping over the next couple of weeks, Hina will learn how to signal us to open up the door when she needs to do her business outside. But yeah, the event was great. It was for a great cause and I'm just so exhausted now. Hina is just um, enjoying <laughs> her time on the couch. So Hina actually really likes sleeping on this couch if the blanket is here. But usually um, when it's like bed bedtime, she'll sleep in her crate. So people have asked me if I leave the crate open or closed. I keep it open. I don't really see a reason to close it because she's really good like she doesn't destroy the place at all she only plays with her toys even though i've got like my stuff lying around she doesn't touch it so yeah i feel like we got very lucky we got a very well behaved dog so i keep the crate door open and the balcony door open so she can go out whenever she pleases she can go around in the living room do whatever she wants and we're hoping in the next couple of days or weeks depends on how well she behaves um, we are going to slowly introduce her to our bedroom. So she's allowed in a bedroom at the moment. She goes on our bed sometimes just to play, but we're hoping that we can move one of her beds, because I got her another bed, into our bedroom so she can sleep with us in there. I'm gonna probably go to bed as well because I am exhausted. So I will see you guys when I vlog next. Hey guys, it's been about a week since I last vlogged for the event. Oh, so much has happened. So I'm gonna update you guys and tell you what's been going on and it's not good. So basically, COVID has come up again in Sydney and I'm actually really annoyed this time around because I feel like it could have been prevented, but the government has just been very slow and I feel like the rules they've implemented now, is just too late. Last week in Bondi, a COVID case leaked out. Oh, you can't miss you. But it was the Delta variant, which means that it is more contagious. <laughs> you know, it has just decided to take over my vlog. Okay, 
um, there was one case in Bondi. I feel like every single time there's a COVID case, it's always Bondi. But anyway, the person went into Bondi Westfield, which usually is really busy. So that was a concern. When that came out, I thought that maybe New South Wales might implement some rules where we have to wear masks indoors, but they didn't. Um, it took them about a whole week and a half to actually implement those rules which now I feel is too late because what happened was there was that one case and then like every single day there was like two to three cases which isn't much but then it started rising to like five six cases today there was 16 cases and finally this morning they decided to put in some restrictions but they should have done this ages ago because now like you know in one day there's 16 cases which is a I guess compared to other countries it's low but in Australia we're so used to having zero cases that like it's a lot for us and because of this restrictions have been added for other states so I was actually supposed to go back to Perth this weekend to attend my sister's engagement party and I can't now because there's a hard border closure so I don't know I just feel really disappointed because like I kind of wish New South Wales was like Western Australia because when Perth had that one COVID case the rule was like Literally every single person has to wear a mask if you leave your house which yes was strict but it was good because they only had to do that for like five days and because everyone was wearing masks it was okay it didn't spread but in Sydney I just feel like whenever something comes up like they're just so slow so anyway I'm heading for I was supposed to head to two events today um, one of them actually got cancelled because it is in Westfield Chatswood but anyway I think I'm gonna head off to my event now um, in case I am late so I will see you guys there it's been real cold in Sydney lately and of course going to mask up I need to buy more masks because we've only got one more packet left I'll take you out for a walk after I come back from grocery shopping, okay? Good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl, aren't you? Nope, I went the totally wrong direction. I read the invite again and it said the Ovalo Hotel, which was where the Uber dropped me off at. Um, it was funny because he said that he wanted to drop me off like closer to the hotel and I was like, oh yeah, it's fine. Um, and I checked Google Maps and it told me to walk all the way down there. But no, it's literally where I got dropped off at. I just finished my event and I'm just waiting for my Uber to pick me up to take me to Coles. I mean, I could have walked there, but it was going to take me half an hour and I'm in a very Seebs mode right now. I made it back home from the supermarket. It was a struggle, guys, because I was carrying so much stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys quickly what I have. So I went to the Roishway event and they gave me a bunch of goodies. So first off, we have the Epsom salt bath. Unfortunately, I don't have a bathtub, so I'm gonna have to give this away to a friend that does. And then I got the Rocheway Beauty Sleep, and I'm super excited to try this out. So they said to take this maybe one to two hours before you go to bed, and apparently it's supposed to help you sleep easier, which I really need. We also got some organic tea and an eye mask perfect thank you so much Rochua I can't wait to try them and then I went to Coles and I'm not gonna film my cooking tonight because I'm cooking this for the very first time and if I screw it up I don't want you guys to judge me okay so I'll film it next time if it works that well but I got some lemon thyme I also got just some bread for breakfast sausages mixed beans chicken stock bacon diced tomatoes chicken an onion and finally some yogurt all right i'm gonna put all this in the fridge and then we're gonna head off taking it out for a walk and she's just like sitting there waiting for me okay you know we're ready can we sit please yeah what a good girl want to keep walking let's go is back from her walk and she just had her dinner as well so I thought that I'll 
been the last part of this vlog just chatting to you guys and also answering three questions that I picked out in the previous videos. So guys, this is something that I have been doing for a long time. I just have been doing it on and off. So if you guys want to ask me any question, let me know in the comment box down below and I will pick out the three most interesting ones and I will answer them in the next video. So the first one, you do look very tired in this video. Being mummy is very tiring, but a sweet experience. Puppies grow up very quick, Kim. So yeah, I forgot how tiring puppies were. I mean, I had Misty and Yuki, and I had them both when they were puppies. So actually, Misty, I got her when she was a little bit older because we got her from someone else that didn't want her anymore. But Yuki, we got her when she was very young, same age as Hina. But I just kind of forgot how much work it was. I just remember when we first got Yuki, she used to bite us so hard to the point where like blood would come out because her teeth were like needles. But yeah, we taught her to stop biting and she's like such a good dog now. She's an off-lead dog. When she goes for walks in the park, I don't need a lead on her. She just runs off, but then when I call her, she like comes back straight away. Something I really want to teach Hina, but with shivers, their recall isn't that great. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that. And also with shivers, like the problem with them is sometimes if they see something they're interested in, they will run for it and they will not come back if you call them. So yeah, um, I've just been really careful with Hina and I have been really strict with her training. So maybe I'll make a video on um, stuff I've taught her already. Next question, I love your Pokemon jacket, where did you get it? So I actually get this question quite often and the jacket I got from the Pokemon Center in Japan, unfortunately I don't think you can get it anymore. I don't know, I haven't been to Japan in like, you know, over a year. But you can also get it on Amazon Japan, so maybe check it out. It's such a good jacket. I've had that jacket for like four years and I still wear it all the time. And the last question, I actually received quite a few questions on this. Been looking for a Shiba Inu puppy, but they are hard to find and pricey in the USA. But I found one for $4,500, so can't wait to get him. Now this isn't really a question, but I wanted to talk about it anyway, because quite a few people have asked me how I got Hina, and I will eventually make a video on how I got her. But I just want to say that for those that want a Shiba Inu, you need to research first. Like, please research before you get a Shiba Inu or any dog, because some people just don't know what they're getting themselves into. A Shiba Inu is harder to train than most dogs because they're more stubborn. And most of the time when you ask them to do something, they will only do it if they feel like it. On top of that, they are super dramatic and also they shed like crazy. That was something I did not know until I took care of Hoshi, my friend's Shiba. And yeah, he was shedding everywhere in our apartment. With Shiba Inus, in Australia, they're usually around $4,000 to $6,000. If they are under $4,000, it's most likely a scam. It's too good to be true. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize again for like, you know, just being so behind on all the videos. But I'm editing this video tonight and it's going up tomorrow morning. So yeah, we are back in real time. Okay, stop biting my hair, please. All right, guys, I'm going to go make dinner now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.